to my channel, I'm Isabel Joins and as you've probably read from the title, this is going to be a week in the life of me, Isabel Joins, an events management student. I've taken a few weeks off um, making YouTube videos, posting them like social media as like a whole, um, just because I wanted to like recharge and stuff. But I really wanted to film a week in the life and I've only got three more weeks left of university my second year. So I thought it's kind of like now or never really. Um, so today is Wednesday. I'm going to try and film till Tuesday. I know it should be like Monday to Sunday, but I've just been too busy and I like Wednesday. So I thought why not start on a Wednesday? Um, so hopefully we'll get through all the way till Tuesday. It is the Easter, like university at break time. So I haven't got any lectures or seminars, but I've still got three project deadlines coming up. So I've got quite a lot of meetings um, and I've got to obviously finish those. So there's gonna be a lot of like events management content as such. Obviously on Mondays when our gardens open, so you'll get to see what I do then. And hopefully the video will be interesting and hopefully I can do it all the way to the end. So fingers crossed. So I've already been food shopping this morning. I'll insert a little clip of that. I'm sure you'll be very interested in that. Um, and I've got a meeting today and then I'll probably spend a few hours doing some project work and what was said in the meeting on the work. And I've got a virtual event later on. So I'll film all that and show you and I'll probably tune back in to speak to you one-on-one -on -one like this after my meeting. So I'll let you know how that goes. evening I had my meeting it went well I feel like everyone's on track so for that we're doing a e-bike experiential campaign and um, we've been given a brief and obviously we've got to plan an event for that we have fortunately been able to work with the company TRO but now I feel like the pressure is completely on you know when we give them our pitch and obviously the impressions that they'll have on us for like the future so I feel like I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself but It'll be fine in the long run. I feel like the end is in sight now, so it will be fine. I obviously then did the changes and what we spoke about in that meeting to my project and did a couple of hours. So my report's pretty much done now. I just got to put like the pitch together, which I'll do later on in the week. I had a virtual event. It was the Better Event Design um, virtual event, and it was on a special platform. I'll insert a video next called Xvo. And this was really cool because you have like an avatar and you get to kind of go around a virtual venue with your avatar, get to see expeditions like you would at your usual like conference or business event, get to sit down and listen to key speakers. I mean, we we're listening to speakers today from like America, like a networking event as well, which was good because you get to like tap on other people's avatars and click call. I think it was a really good event, but tonight I think I'd probably just have my dinner, wind down. I feel like <laughs> I've been staring at my screen all day. So I just want some dinner and wind down time before I get up early tomorrow. So see you tomorrow. Good morning, today is Thursday and as you can see, I'm up and dressed. I'm ready to go out. I'm going to meet my friend. We're going on a walk and we're going to a place that I've never been before called Olive and Joy. But I haven't had time to like look at the uh, menu or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go with the flow and I'll edit a little clip to show you what I get. Um, I've then got to come back to the house and I've got some like social media -y stuff to get on with and do so I'll show you that and then I've got some project work as well to do so those are my plans uh, current for today they might change but hopefully I'll get a lot done and it's a productive day and an enjoyable day as well Hi, so I've actually been back a few hours from my walk now, but my walk was really nice and it was so lovely to meet with my friend. 
uh, we did like 17,000 steps, which is really good for me. And we went to that Olive Enjoy place. I ended up getting a hot chocolate, not a smoothie because it was a bit cold. Um, but I got the uh, cookie dough, hot chocolate, so it was nice. Then I came back here and I did some projects. So I've got another project for the applied um, operational events module at Sheffield Hallam. So it's like a two part assignment. So it's a evaluation and an, and an essay and I was actually struggling to find some sources because on the online library it's saying that some of the books that I want to use are actually only in the library so I'm gonna have to go into the library at some point to get those um, sources for my essay but now I'm just going to post on my LinkedIn about the event that I went to yesterday and I'm also going to make a event Instagram post and I will show you that afterwards and then post it later on. But I think that's about it for me today because I'm really tired. I'll probably just make dinner and watch Netflix and wind down until tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. So as you can see, I'm up and dressed and ready for the day. I'm meeting another friend today. And this morning, what have I been doing? So while I was getting ready, I was listening to two event podcasts. So the first one is like an event boss, which is hosted by Juliet Tripp and Carrie Avadathy. So I listened to two of those and one was on women in events, which kind of introduced me to the Women in Events Association that Carrie has founded, which I'm definitely gonna go and check out later on. And then the second um, podcast from like an event boss was diversity and inclusion and they had Derek Johnson on to talk about it and they introduced me because Carrie and Derek have for events from black to white I believe it's called so I'm definitely going to check that out as well and another if you like event podcasts that I was listening to as well another one you might be interested in is the desert island podcast so that's more about where there's guest speakers come on and like dream their um special event their dream event and they go through it all and how they were planning and stuff so that's really cool and while we're on like the podcast topic if you're not interested in events another podcast that i like is the girls bathroom by sophie and chintzy i'm sure every girl listens to that but that is so good so that's usually what i do when i get ready either listen to music or listen to a podcast so today i'm going to meet my friend but just before i'm going to make some breakfast so i'll show you how my breakfast turns out if I'm sure it's so interesting and um, I'll show you my day out today so I'll speak to you later. Good morning everyone so I apologize for yesterday I went to the botanical gardens with Molly for a walk and I literally forgot to film it all so apologize for that but the food was really good yesterday and it was so nice to see her but today I have a virtual event it's the events grad like virtual networking event which I went to last month and it was really good to see like the guest speakers and to network obviously with like students my age and like people who are like getting into the events industry like me so I've got that today I'm really looking forward to it Today there'll be like different guest speakers and stuff so it'll be really nice um, and it's nice to like network as well. So I'm going to do that and then a bit later I'll probably just do some like project work but I'll just film some little bits of today and let you know how it goes. Hi, so the event Grad Future Event Prof Connect has just finished. It was absolutely amazing, as was the first one. I loved it. I met so many lovely people and the speakers were so good and I've taken so much knowledge from that as well. But for the rest of the day, I am going to carry on with this Excel training course that I found on LinkedIn. Um, I'm about halfway through now so I'm going to finish that off and then I'll probably just chill out. I've got a little bit of pitch work still to do but it's Saturday so I'm just going to chill out um, but I'll show you what I get up to if I get up to anything else that's interesting but I think it's just going to be a bit of a chill one today. Good morning everyone so the reason you're looking at my desk is because honestly my face is not making the cut and it's very very early for me it's seven 
I've decided to get up early because I want to get in a walk before it rains later and before my busy day. So I have a meeting today with my project group and because obviously bars open tomorrow and I will be too busy with consuming alcohol, I won't be doing any work. So I'm gonna treat like my Sunday as my Monday in terms of workload and that's about it for today. I've got quite a lot of work, so I'll probably work quite late into the evening, but I'll take you along on my walk. Um, but to be honest, tomorrow will probably be the more interesting day. So this came yesterday. This is my event safety management certificate. It's the IOSH exam that I had to do to get this. And obviously Sheffield Adam University helped me get it. So I feel really lucky to have achieved this. And when it's like out in paper, it feels so like legit and I love it now. So although I did it like last year and now I've got the paper certificate, I feel that it's actually real and it's happened. So I feel really happy that that came as well. Good morning everyone, today is the 12th of April and as you can see I'm up and dressed. I'm going out with Molly to a bar garden. I think we're hoping to go onto like revs, it has like a terrace kind of thing, but it's first come first served. So, I mean it's 11 o'clock now, so I hope we get a table, but we'll see. If not, we'll go with the flow and see where we can get into. But I'll take you along to that today and it should be fun and I'm really looking forward to it. As you've probably just seen it's Wednesday today not Tuesday so after revolution on Monday and the bar gardens and outside areas opening I was extremely hungover yesterday and there was no way that I could even get out of bed never mind film so today is Wednesday and I'm feeling not hungover not sick so I'm feeling better um, but today I'm going to Meadow Hall with my friend shopping so I'll take you along with that Hopefully there'll be some nice stuff in those shops and hopefully everything isn't sold out for Monday and Tuesday. Um, but to be fair, I'm just, I'm not going for anything in particular. I'm just going for a little look and just to spend time with my friends. So I'll show you how that goes. Hello, so it's now the evening. It's really late, but I've had such a lovely day with Ray. It was so lovely to see her. And we had a nice day shopping in Meadow Hall as well. I um, went to Zara thinking there was gonna be loads of stuff in, but there wasn't really anything I liked. And the only one thing I went for in Zara was some perfume and I completely forgot. So that was silly me. But two things I bought today, which I thought was cute with these. So I got these like beige, um jeans from h&m now i never ever shop in h&m um but i went today and these were only like like 13 pound which is really 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 cheap like the denim doesn't feel amazing but i think for beige jeans and for i don't know if i wear them that often probably just when i want to wear a certain top or something then i feel like that's a great price and then the second thing i got was from primark um it's this cute little like um yellow cropped blazer it gives me like clueless vibes and i really love this it fits like really snug so i can't wait to wear that and then i got some other bits from like boots um stuff like that nothing really worth showing but it was really nice today um obviously nice to go shopping i haven't been shopping in ages um but as a whole i've really enjoyed doing this a week in the life please follow my two instagrams and like and subscribe to my channel and like this video please but thank you for watching if you've lasted this long and have a lovely day.